The big game Sunday is second only to Thanksgiving Day for downing the most calories. Wow. So after you sack your diet, time to take out a well, time for a resolution restart. How about that? Well, we've got the expert to help you out in the clutch. You've seen him on the Steve Harvey show. Health and wellness expert AD Dolphin is here with some healthy choices. Hey, how you Good doing? Good morning. Alana? Hey, let me brag about you for a minute. This okay. is very impressive. You have helped huge celebrities, specifically their waistlines. We're talking Beyonce. Uh, let's see, Anthony Anderson, Sherry Shepard, just yep. to name a few. What are your top three tips? This is going to be a loaded question for you <laughs> on to restart the button of uh, your health. You know, the first thing I like to tell people, start off with a cleanse. Uh, we have a great cleanse called the d Herbs Full Body Cleanse. Cleans out all your major eliminative channels. That's your gallbladder, your heart, your liver, your colon, your spleen, your lungs, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your blood, and your <laughs> skin. It flushes out all the impurities in, within your body. It definitely gives you a restart. Another key element, I would say, is the pregame, and another one is the dessert tray. I'm excited. <laughs> Are you telling me I can get healthier with a dessert tray? We're going to get into this. What about the pregame first? Okay. So what does that mean? What do we so need to do? So pregame is when you know, okay, we're all going to attend that Super Bowl party, right? It's going to have all of our favorite foods. So what you can do is call it the pregame. That means eat something really healthy prior to going to that event. Interesting. So eat like a big fruit salad, a uh, big green leafy well, you're salad. You're going and you're not going to want to eat There you much. go. Okay. There you go. And then last but not least, we have the dessert tray. The the reason why the dessert tray is so important because of the fact that it's about 50% less than a regular plate. So therefore, we're going to practice portion control. So it's kind of like for the person that wants to kind of eat a little bit on on the uh, at that big party. Okay. But you know what? You're going to eat a little bit less having this dessert tray. A smaller plate. There you go. Okay. Well, you can't fit that much food on a smaller <laughs> plate. Okay, I'm going to break this down for you. So we have our smoothies here. Now right. you say we should have smoothies for breakfast, a salad for lunch, raw tacos, fresh salsa for dinner. Right. Um, but the key component here is that everything is raw. Right. So the reason why it's raw because you're going to get the full power of this, the foods that we eat. We tend to overcook our food, so therefore it, we're not really getting the vitamins and nutrients that we're supposed to get. So we, here we have the kale smoothie. It this actually, looks really good. It Can I try like, it? Yeah, for good? sure. Okay, good. It tastes like ice cream. Um, some of the ice elements, that, we have kale, one of the great superfoods. We have cashews, full of protein. Uh, we have uh, dates. Sure. Dates are great because it motivates your body to go to the restroom, and that is so important. And also, we have bananas. So that also pulls the salt out of your body. So if you're suffering from high blood pressure, ah. bananas are great for you. Okay, good to know. I actually had no idea. No, again, though, uh, everything is raw. Where's the protein right. coming from? The vegetables? Yeah, it's actually protein in every single thing that you, we eat. But one of the key elements here, protein-wise, is the cashews. Okay, so I think the ultimate goal for a lot of people is to improve their overall health, but right. to also lose weight. So how much weight can we anticipate to lose by doing this? Okay, so by eating this way and you're on the cleanse, people tend to lose between 10 to 30 pounds. What? Depending on the condition of your body. Okay, now we're talking that a little more specifically. Everybody has different body types, different shapes. Right. And that's also very important when adding an exercise. Absolutely. So let's just talk about some of the main shapes, three of them. So we have a, a ectomorph. A ectomorph are, is like your athlete. Let's go. Ray, you're going to show me some things. I have heels I, I'm going to try. I'm going to make you do everything. Well, can we talk with, about Steve Harvey first? Because he is a rectangle shape. Right, which Would is an ectomorph. Okay. So that's that's more of an athletic shape. People, people don't know that Steve actually was a, a really, really good basketball player when he played in college. So he actually uh, went, to, went to school for that. What rec um, uh, exercises would you recommend for his shape? So for his shape, let's do like athletic. a squat. Okay. Y'all, so gonna happen. There we go. So you definitely, <laughs> so you want to kind of sit down with your bottom and down and then up. Yeah. Down and up. I'm already my TV down. has creds today. Uh -huh, squatting and heels up. and a dress. Very nice. Okay, very nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think, you know, I think it actually helps uh, being elevated a little bit on, on I, can, I can feel it more. <laughs> right here. What about Beyonce? Her body type is type 2. Triangle? Type two, so that's an endomorph. So endomorphs are, are people that's either top heavy, top heavy, or bottom heavy, or round in shape. So she's more a little bit bottom heavy. She has like Ooh. bigger thighs. So therefore, that kind of person we would do more cardio workouts. So okay. we're talking about things like jumping jacks. Now I don't want you to do yeah, that I'm in not doing those that. heels. I'm not doing that so we're gonna do things like jumping jacks, okay. running, cardio, things along that, get your along those, get your heart rate up. Okay. Now next we have uh, Halle Berry and she's an hourglass. Right, which, uh, which is a mesomorph. So that's more of an hourglass shape. So we're gonna do things like more workouts like body
body weight. So we're not going to do as much cardio. So we're going to do things like push-ups. Now you, you know, show me the proper push-up because right. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> so we're going to go down. We're going to get our even out our hands. Okay. Right on your up shoulders. Back, Got it. And then we're going to go down. And then we're going to go up. I'm very impressed down, with you that you're doing that and, and talking up. at the same time. Down and up. Very good. Okay. All right. Pretty simple movement, but, but very effective. Absolutely. But you know, it all starts, of course, over here at the beginning. You know, we're getting our pregame, but you have to go into it with the right mentality. For sure. If your mind isn't right, you're setting yourself up for failure, I think. Absolutely. How can we get there? You know what? Take the word I can't out of your vocabulary. You can. You can. You can get that job. You can get in shape. You can get those resolutions that you promised yourself that you would do at the top of the year. You can finish. Okay. And what about reducing stress? I'm sure everything comes along with just kind of Yeah. You know what stress? Helping. Go ahead. For stress, I would tell people is exercise is great for you. Exercise is great for you. Another thing that you can do is listen to relaxing music. Great idea. You know what I fell sick to last night? I was like, Alexa, put on rain, rain sounds. And it sounds like you're a thunderstorm. And it really helps me just go to bed and set my mind for the night and just uh, relax. There you go. I, speaking of sleep, how much sleep should we get? Mm, uh, you know, if you're a young adult, I would say to get between eight to 10 hours. And as you get oh, older, you don't wow. need as much. Okay. You only need about seven to eight hours. Yeah, we, I am slacking on that, but I'm sure a lot of people can relate <laughs> to that. It might be like six to eight, but good to know it should be more eight to ten. And I bet you we can all see a difference in our mentality also. For sure. And our overall, overall well-being. Great tips. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm Thanks impressed for having you. me. Yeah. Talking on live TV while doing push-ups. We're going to come back over here to the food because I'm going to finish this smoothie. If you want to know more, here's for you. Thank here's you. Here's for me. Cheers to a new you, just like that. You can check out his website. It's 80's website is dherbs.com.